Good morning. I'm the Reverend William Stanton from St. Albans Episcopal Church in Windsor, Colorado. And we're continuing with our, it's a little sunny, uh, we're continuing with our praying the Psalter, uh, our journey through the Psalms. And um, I hope you will join us today on Facebook here or YouTube um, for our Sunday service as well. That will premiere at 10 o'clock. But in the meantime, we're going to continue with our Psalms. Today is the 14th day of June, and so we'll be beginning with our 14th day morning prayer Psalms, which consist of Psalms 71 and 72, um, which will conclude Book 2 of the Psalter. For those of you who are joining us this morning, good morning. I hope you are having a beautiful day and you're outside. It is gorgeous out. Uh, not a cloud in the sky. There's a light breeze blowing. Um, it's going to be a beautiful, beautiful day. Okay, let us begin. Psalm 71. If you're in your prayer book, it's found on page 683. In you, O Lord, have I taken refuge. Let me never be ashamed. In your righteousness, deliver me and set me free. Incline your ear to me and save me. Be my strong rock, a castle to keep me safe. For you are my crag and my stronghold. Deliver me, O God, from the hand of the wicked, from the clutches of the evildoer and the oppressor. For you are my hope, O Lord God, my confidence since I was young. I have been sustained by you ever since I was born. For my mother's womb, you have, given my, you have been my strength. My praise shall be always of you. I have become a portent to many, but you are my refuge and my strength. Let my mouth be full of your praise and your glory all the day long. Do not cast me off in my old age. Forsake me not when my strength fails. For my enemies are talking against me, and those who lie in wait for my life take counsel together. They say, God has forsaken him. Go after him and seize him, because there is none who will save. O God, be not far from me. Come quickly to help me, O my God. Let those who set themselves against me be put to shame and be disgraced. Let those who seek to do me evil be covered with scorn and reproach. But I shall always wait in patience and shall praise you more and more. My mouth shall recount your mighty acts and saving deeds all day long. Though I cannot know the number of them, I will begin with the mighty works of the Lord God. I will recall your righteousness, yours alone. O oh God, you have taught me ever since I was young, and to this day I tell of your wonderful works. And now that I am old and gray-headed, O oh God, do not forsake me. Till I make known your strength to this generation, and your power to all who are to come. Your righteousness, O God, reaches to the heavens. You who have, you have done great things, who is like you, O God? You have showed me great troubles and adversities, but you will restore my life and bring me up again from the deep places in the earth. You, you strengthen me more and more. You enfold me and comfort me. Therefore, I will praise you upon the lyre for your faithfulness, O my God. I will sing to you with the harp, O Holy One of Israel. My lips will sing with joy when I play to you, and so will my soul, which you have redeemed. My tongue will proclaim your righteousness all the day long, for they are ashamed and disgraced who sought to do me harm. Psalm 72. Give the king your justice, O God, and your righteousness to the king's son, that he may rule the, your people righteously and the poor with justice, that the mountains may bring prosperity to the people and the little hills bring righteousness. He shall defend the needy among the people. He shall rescue the poor and crush the oppressor. He shall live as long as the sun and moon endure from one generation to another. He shall come down like rain upon the mown field like showers that water the earth. In his time shall the righteous flourish. There shall be abundance of peace till the moon shall be no more. He shall rule from sea to sea and from the river to the ends of the earth. 
His foes shall bow down before him, and his enemy, enemies lick the dust. The kings of Tarshish and the Isles shall be, the kings of Tarshish and the Isles shall pay tribute, and the kings of Arabia and Saba offer gifts. All kings shall bow down before him, and all the nations do him service. For he shall deliver the poor who cries out in distress, and the oppressed who has no helper. He shall have pity on the lowly and poor. He shall preserve the lives of the needy. He shall redeem their lives from, the, from oppression and violence, and dear shall their blood be in his sight. Long may he live, and may there be given him gold from Arabia. May, may, may prayers be made for him always, and may they bless him all the day long. May there be abundance of grain on the earth, growing thick even on the hilltops. May its fruit flourish like Lebanon, and its grain like grass upon the earth. May his name remain forever and ever, and be established as long as the sun endures. May all the nations bless themselves in him, and call him blessed. Blessed be the Lord God, the God of Israel, who alone does wondrous deeds. And blessed be his glorious name forever, and may all the earth be filled with his glory. Amen. Amen. Beloved, that concludes Book 2 of the Psalms. We'll continue this evening at 5.30 with Book 3, uh, which begins with Psalm 73. Um, and so I hope you have a beautiful and glorious and blessed day today. Get out, enjoy the sunshine. I'm going to be planting some flowers and some herbs. And so I hope whatever you do this day, you get out and you enjoy God's creation who lovingly created it all for you. Have a blessed day, everyone. I'll see you tonight. Bye-bye.